Hey guys, Fisha here. So the expansion just dropped, Fortune's Hand, and the first legendary that was revealed, if you remember, is Wilfrau the Hangman. And to be honest, he's like, when I first saw this card, I knew right away I had to make a deck for it. I had to play it because <laughs> his effect is hilarious. Like Treacherous Reversal is hilarious. Basically, it it makes your victory condition drawing your deck, which is basically banished and replaced with 10 cards from your opponent's te uh, your 10 cards that your opponent played already and then you copy your opponent's hand so it's such a riot man so i wouldn't say this deck is good but it's really fun and i got some really interesting matches with it so yeah i hope you enjoy guys okay so the first match i wanted to show you guys was a forest craft mirror and this was very interesting because they had a very different deck from mine. I think they were using the new Accelerate Forest instead of like using, uh, like me, like Wolfride with the Control Forest Shell. But the match gets really interesting later on, you'll see. So, pretty, pretty normal early turns. I just play my cards, doing control for your stuff, building up your combos. They play Blossoming Archer and then I just like, what? Are you actually playing? Accelerate Forest. <laughs> Accelerate Forest is a new archetype-ish released in this expansion. And I don't know if it's good or not. I think it's it can be good, I think, but I don't know. Either way though, I just play out my cards, build up my combos, because I'm, you know, because I'm, like, control first, that's what, I, that's what I do. They keep piling on the damage. And so I, and so I kind of just do my thing, control them. I'm not sure. Like, if pure Accelerate Forest, what their, um, what their win condition is, like, you can, they're more of a package, I guess. You can con uh, include them in, like, Limaka or something. But this particular forest was really interesting, because I think they included the, the other insect, the Terminator thing. And you can see my lack of skill with Control Forest, I actually totally, um, wasted that card. Chipper Skipper? Interesting card. Not the best card, but interesting nonetheless. Now, here is where I put the red flag. If you return a few frames, there was Wolfrod. They're playing a Wolfrod deck too. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh crap. You know, because like, at first I didn't realize it, but if you think about it, it's really bad. Okay, let me just skip forward a bit, because we basically know that they have a wolf out there. I didn't have another ward, so I couldn't really um kind of prevent this from happening. But yeah, this was pretty strong, the Terraformer. Unfortunately, I didn't have this card because my Back opening was really dreadful. But yeah, they just went face with a terraformer. And I was like, well, might as well. <laughs> I never get tired of this animation though. So awesome. Like, so hype, man, the animation. This guy is such a riot. Victory card. Like, even the voice line, like, Anta Kimero, it's like, you know, sorry for saying it like a total weep, but yeah, it's like, you decide, it's, a, it's so awesome, because technically you do decide, so. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, at first I didn't realize it, but it's basically their win. 
It's basically the end because, as you will see, I'll just fast forward a bit because, you know, waiting for <laughs> people's waiting on turns like this, really not fun. But yeah, like, I guess I could have kind of tried to push da more damage. But you can see here, because I was running a control forest shell, I ran it out of draw, so in the wolf rod mirror like this, where they're not a control forest shell, I just basically lose. <laughs> like, you know, we can skip this, like, you know what's gonna happen. I just basically keep drawing. Keep drawing. Keep drawing. I just found it hilarious that I lost with my own deck. <laughs> like, you can't, even, you can't even get mad, man, when you lose with this deck. Okay, so our second match that I wanted to show was against Dragoncraft. Now, I was interested in what kind of Dragoncraft this is, um, because obviously Namdain, um, the Nitra Dragon with Valdain and Natural Machinus still exists. And I'm not sure if they're still good or not, but they still exist, kinda. And aside from that, well, there's also, you know, um, the big dragon deck with the uh, six play point amulet that can basically summon all your followers, all your big followers in three turns. But no, turns out it's just Scar Dragon. And I was really excited because what does this Scar Dragon do the best? Draw. I mean, it didn't do the best at drawing um, back in the day, but now it does. <laughs> so I was really excited for this. So I just played Kokoro here. I didn't, I didn't see this two drop as that big of a threat, but might as well conserve some resources. And they played another rock back and kill Saurus. And they played wave crash and good. This card, by the way, this card is weird. I'm not sure if that's good. It's kind of Mimi. It's okay, I guess. Either way, though. Just play it. Because <laughs> it's an 8 8 that you can't just destroy. It basically kills their Plesiosaurus next turn if they do play that. And indeed, they do play that. Of course, at this point, I was kind of gambling because. I wasn't sure if I was going to draw another wolf rod because basically he's my only win condition, which I highly discourage by the way. I suggest you to, if you really want to meme with wolf rod, I suggest you to actually run win conditions. Like I'm running control force, but I'm not running any roaches. So I can't win even, I can't win um, without wolf rod even if I wanted to. So if you're trying to use an Evo shell, make sure make sure you actually run Zeus. If you're trying to run with a control force shell like me, make sure you kinda run Roach. It makes your deck worse, but I think the meme potential. Like when you do win with Wolf Rod or when you just get the chance to play him, it's just good. It's just fun, you know. Either way though, I get to try another Wolf Rod. So no harm done there. Very nice. Soothing spell, great card, just heals and gives you an evo. And at this point, I'm just excited because basically they're not storming me. Sure, they're damaging me, but not by that much. And they're building a big board, but you know, Wolf Rod. It's like the best board clear in the game. And I was like, let's go. <laughs> let's go, man. The ride begins. Like, even though, like, the music, the game music kind of changes in my head whenever I play Wolf Rod. It's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> it's so fun, man. Like, I understand that it's terrible as a card, like, as a competitive card. But it's so much fun. And I don't know what they're doing. Like, they're not playing any storm cards, probably because they don't have any. There's maybe a, a pure 
discard deck, which I don't think is good. I think it's also a meme. Either way though, they give me their hand. And all of them are draw. I was just thinking for a minute, like, how can I win this? And they just give up. <laughs> they just basically give up. <laughs> Easy game. Okay guys, before we start this game, let me explain. Okay? So... I kept trying this deck on ladder. And I know it's bad, I know it's bad, but the thing is, I kept facing Sword, which is basically like unwinnable. Like it's not even a bad deck against a good deck anymore, it's like a bad deck against a good deck that counters it. So, in the end, I just got someone to fight me with a different deck on private matches. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyways, this is um, Infinite Year Zero from Discord. He's the one who... He's the one who, um... Helped me choose um, the highlights for uh, Eternal Fantasy League highlights for June. If you watched that video, my last video. And yeah. I think he's playing Shop. Which I think is actually really good, um, supposedly, in this meta. Which kind of worries me, but then again, shop. I was actually kind of interested in how this deck works against shop. Because shop has a lot of draw. But shop can, shop can also OTK you. And I'm not sure if they can OTK you if you banish their shop first. So we'll see, we'll see. What's for sure is that it's not going to be as bad as against Rally Sword. I wouldn't say that, I don't know if that deck is broken or not, but it's definitely not something you can fight with this meme. Like, even in the best scenario, it's not gonna work, man. So, yeah. In any case, there's the guy. Um, let's just draw cards. Okay, good thing we drew this card. One play point on left. Okay, so we need to kill like two play point followers. I don't think Elf Queen is good in this deck, but she's there. Actually, if you play Wolf Rod on five, I don't know if they can remove that. Because it can't be destroyed by FX. I guess you can damage it by. I guess you can damage it and kill it though, yeah. I wouldn't imagine that it's that hard. We're going second though, which sucks. Okay, what can we do here? We could play the world fraud, but I don't want to do that. Now I want to do that. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, I'll play it next turn. You know what, Simpson? Probably not gonna remove anything this turn. I think it's fine to just um put these out, yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine to just put these out. Let's go. Next turn we'll have a kind of a wombo combo. Oh look, they do play followers, kinda. <laughs> oh my god, what? Why why didn't you play that first? Infinite. <laughs> why? <laughs> you should have played that first and then the <laughs> Okay. That works. That works, I guess. Okay, let's have some fun then. Okay, 
Okay, let's go. You know what? I think I can just beat him right now. I kinda don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Chaplin, man. I don't know. If it loses to like if it loses to freaking Wilfrod Forest, I don't know man. Oh here he goes, he's gonna pop off. Let's see what happens. Yo, is he Kami? Does he have enough? Ooh. That's interesting. Ow. Is he kind of straight up with Tsukimi? I'm not sure, man. Does he have enough? Does he actually have enough? His prey is full, though. He doesn't have enough to OTK me. Now let's see what happens. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> you have another one? Basically, basically, he has to have another one if he wants to win, right? Okay. Okay, trying to draw another one. Does he have it? He doesn't have it, yes. <laughs> Is he going to empty his hand? He can empty his hand and I I will I kind of like have no cards left in my hand. Oh. He had it! Why didn't you play it? I'm good. Huh. Cool. Maybe I should have played it. Not sure, man. I didn't have a lot of things to play it with. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll pass here. Didn't have enough draw in his hand. I more like didn't have targets to draw with this. Why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I don't think he could. <laughs> this fun man. <laughs> this is pretty fun man. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty fun. <laughs> Killing Sharp Rune with Sharp Rune, man. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was hilarious. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was Wolfrod Control Forest, and to be honest, it's a bad deck. <laughs> what can I say? It's a bad legendary, like seriously, it's a total meme. At least the Enhanced 7, like, normally as a 3 drop, it's okay, I think. Like, if you have a Tempo Forest deck that's meta, I think it's it could be good. But as a win condition on turn 7, it's bad. Except maybe in a super controly, like super everybody has draw meta. But even then, like you run into mirrors with Wilfrod and you just lose again. <laughs> but when you do play it though, it's extremely fun. Like legitimately, when I played this, it was the most fun I've ever had with Shadowverse. Except for the first few times I've played Shadowverse. Like seriously, I haven't had this much fun in this game. For so long, this card is like, like I wouldn't if you if you're short on vials. I wouldn't recommend you crafting this um this legendary because there's loads of forest decks that can win against any uh, against the current meta without this. This is not really needed for any of them, for for the um for the three play point effect. But if you do have extra vials, I definitely recommend you to try playing this man, even if it's just private magic against your friends. It's so hilarious, it's so fun. Oh my god, it's just amazing, man. It's just the greatest card ever, I think, in terms of just fun factor. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it, gets, maybe it gets annoying after a while, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Anyways, guys, if you wanted to try this deck out, go ahead, knock yourselves out, it's really fun. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, give me a sub and have a nice day.